Chris Matthews, take one, Mark. The Foundry Project was an effort to show ourselves how far we can push things using Unreal 5. Our new studio art director, Chris, came to me and said, hey, I have this crazy idea. He said, hey, there's this thing called Project Foundry that I want to do. Let's make it happen. Foundry specifically is based around the same concept of the Foundry in Halo lore. It's the place where Halo rings are born. It's not a game, it's a research project for our studio so we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making Halo games. The original Halo franchise was a graphic showcase. Um, it was best in class. That's what Halo was when it first was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. So once Project Foundry had been approved, we took the entire creative team and we ideated on three locations, something old, something new, and something really alien. We had the Pacific Northwest, which is sort of traditional Halo biome. We were trying to shove as much foliage in there as humanly possible to make it really feel like you're on a hike in the, you know, Cascades. The Cold Lands, which was the second biome that we took on, it was more of a technical showcase where we could play with shaders, we could play with deformable landscapes and terrains. Unreal affords us more opportunity than we've ever had in the past. You know, on the surface, it might just look all like snow, but how many layers of things combine to really give that winter look? And then our third biome was the Blightlands, which is any land that's been completely taken over by the flood. I wanted to give our team the opportunity to really express an alien world, a really alien world, taking something way further than they may have actually done in previous Halo games. What's impressed me about watching the Halo team work in Unreal is how beautiful everything looks, how incredible the environments look. I don't think we've seen anything quite like it in Unreal Engine before. Fortunately, we have a studio that's really passionate about Halo, about the look and the feel, and you know, I think there's a lot of hunger to really collaborate, to move forward together. Foundry was an initiative that touched on every part of the creative process. Everything from concept art, VFX, characters, vehicles, and weapons to make the future games of Halo. Creating an asset, taking this design, now we can really dig into material foundations. What is it actually made of? How is it physically accurate um, to the world? Now we get to take all the, the wonderful legacy assets that we have, bring them to life, and bring them to uh, today's standards. We are really excited to be not just working on multiple projects, but also expanding our studio. As a lifelong Halo player, I think the game's only going to get better when we get those new, unique perspectives and people bring in their expertise and uh, passion for the Halo franchise. We are looking for new talent as the projects that we're working on kind of get further and further into their development cycles. And it is great to be part of a team that's growing because you can kind of see that, that force multiplied as people come in and take on challenges and you can do more. Imagine a place where you have the commitment that this is what we want to do, Halo games, and create those experiences. And you can express your talent, your creativity, and your professional ambitions in that place. We're looking for designers, we're looking for artists, we're looking for engineers. It feels like a new beginning for the studio in a lot of ways, and I think that's pretty rare. And I think we arrive now at a point where you see the beginnings of people to start to believe in the process. There's so much momentum that we have right now and focus and clarity on not just what we're building, but why we're building and kind of this next phase of Halo. The worlds that we're building, the stories that we're going after. The potential at Halo right now is huge. Halo Infinite was the last remnants of how we made Halo games in the past. That was our recipe. And what we are doing right now, we're changing the recipe.
sufficient body chills that have been uh, in effect for sure. I'm sure in the whole of this room going crazy during that. Folks at home, it was electric in here, rightfully so. Pierre, that final screen, Halo Studios. Is this a rebrand? I would rather talk about chapters. Mm. So I'm, I'm very much aware that I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. Uh, we had the first chapter, which was Bungie, the second chapter, which is Free for Free, and I think what you see is the beginning of our chapter, which is the Halo Studios chapter. But from my perspective, I think it is just an immense honor for me to be able to carry that torch and continue being representative for this amazing, amazing franchise. Yeah, there have been few studios who have produced this legendary title. How do you see this change adding to that legacy? I think what we've started with, specifically Halo Infinite, was a path of trying to be more frequent where our players are expecting us to be, and more importantly, where we expect them to play in the future. So that means um, that's a perfect moment to transition onto Unreal and uh, the, re the, the, the rebranding of the studio is a perfect moment for us to start that chapter and I think uh, everyone is very, very excited about it and I think what we just showed gives you an insight of where our heads are. Let's get back to what we just saw because there's so much to unpack here. Brian, first and foremost, Unreal? Oh my goodness. Okay, so many questions. The implications, how does this work? What does it do for Halo now? Well, I mean, on one hand, a lot of you, it's, it's not our first time doing a little dance with Unreal. We actually have a little bit of Unreal that kind of sleep, uh, crept into MCC back in the day. I've been around Halo for a long time. I think from my perspective, what's most exciting is really unleashing the team to just be creatives, crafting experiences, and not having to be a tech company anymore, frankly. Wow, okay, some big, some big words there. And talking about creatives and empowering creatives, what does that do for you, Chris, and your team? Yeah, well, uh, obviously uh, Unreal is an incredible tool in its own right, but for us, it's way more than that. It's about how we're working and about how we're projecting the future of making Halo games. Chris, Project Foundry, something that we just saw in this video moments ago, what is it, why? Well, it's a test bed that we put together so our own creatives could uh, see what they could do when they were kind of unhindered by using a proprietary game engine and see what they could do in Unreal 5. And what was expected coming out of Foundry, Brian? You know, was this something that you guys wanted to work on further? You know, how, how did you envision it? Well, I mean, it was uh, it was initially an internal-only facing project, right? And But of course, I mean, I got to give the community what they want. People are hungry. They're a little thirsty out there. They want to see what the studio has been cooking. So super excited to uh, share a little bit of a look behind the curtain and what the team has been doing. Now, this looks like the most exciting time in the studio, Pierre. You know, what's the mood like right now in the camp? Um, hopefully, I can transmit some of the excitement we have. I think the team is starting to believe in the process which we established over the last two years. I had a conversation the other day with uh, one of my former bosses and he described the situation as Pierre and the studio is pouring the foundation. Um, that's exactly what we're doing and now the next step is building on that foundation. It's an amazing, exciting time, but the studio is growing and the, the, the team needs uh, to grow because uh, there are some things which we, I think I'm not going to talk about, I think I'll let you talk yeah, about. Yeah, team, team is growing, guys. What, you know, what does that mean? Well, we have multiple projects in development, as okay. we've been saying, right? So we, as we heard on the video, we're looking for a little bit of everything. Uh, we got job openings right now. We got more to come. But this is kind of us letting the industry know we changed the recipe, as Pierre said. We're looking for people that are passionate about Halo to join us in this next chapter. That's right. We have multiple titles in development. There's a huge amount of momentum, <laughs> and we are very excited. I think everyone else is too, Chris. They are unbelievably excited. Uh, when, when, when might we hear more about these projects? Uh, well, I'll just give the, the old classic line, they're ready when they're ready. <laughs> uh, you know, we want to let the team have some time to, to kind of keep cooking. Um, I do just want to kind of remind folks, though, still lots of cool things on the horizon for Halo Infinite. Our next operation, Halloween, is just a few days away. That's going to be a fun Halloween-themed. Uh, that'll be really kind of featuring the return of Survive the Undead. We got an infection update coming. And then later on in November, we have the winter update that'll have a couple new surprises, including third person firefight. We're excited to bring a new way to play to Halo Infinite. Love that so much. Now, as we bring this chapter to a close and start a new one, Chris, how excited is the team to continue what they've been building behind the scenes here? Oh, in, incredibly. Um, Project Foundry was never actually meant to be uh, public facing, but uh, like Brian said, we really wanted to give the community a bit of a, a glance of what we're doing behind the curtains. But it's been a really, really busy time. We're super eager to be growing the studio. And um, I just want to take a moment actually to thank the team back at Halo for really committing to this work. It's, it's huge for us. Um, yeah. It certainly is indeed. Pierre, finally. 
Is there anything that you'd like to say to the community before we don't see you for another three years? I like the three years idea, um, simply because this is not my world, this is their world. <laughs> no, but I really wanted to point out what an amazing event, how everyone showed up and supports Halo still. This is for me, every single year, humbling for me to see that. I'm amazing, um, amazingly grateful for that. Um, the key really is we hear there's going to be an HES next year, so again, something to look forward to. But I think the key which I really wanted to land was thank you to the fans, thank you for the people who give us the opportunity to express ourselves, thank you to the studio, and I'm looking forward to have a great future with everyone here. Thank you.